I'm going to make this video because I found this to be very useful and I don't want to forget how to do it. So, first thing you do is search for text shop um, PDF latex.py for Python and go check out this guy's website, um, GitHub. There we go. Damn it, I just said um. Every time I make a video, my goal is to never say um. So, um. <laughs> I suck. Okay, uh, here is the code that I used. Just download it by clicking on pdflatex.py. Once you download it, oh, actually you can just click it and uh, copy and paste this. Um, I already did that, so just save it into a text editor. Um, like so. I will demonstrate. Look at how hard this is. Easy, easy, easy. Just save this. Make sure you save it as a Python script, which just means putting the extension instead of uh, TA, TXT. Just delete that and put in PDF latex.py. Save it anywhere you want. Save it on your desktop, that's good. So I'm going to save it. Um, now, here's the tricky part. Start up terminal. Um, and you're going to just do a sudo copy. Um, and we're going to put a tilde, which means your user directory. Um, and type in desktop forward slash pdf latex dot py which is the file we just made and copy that to this is the destination slash um, library gosh I forgot where it was um, let me see let me check really quick Library text root bin, so yeah, there's where it is. So we're going to go to library text slash root slash bin. Um, and then when you hit enter, actually I forgot you have to put a forward slash on there. And then you type your, your password for your computer. You have to be an administrator in order for this to work because the... Um, file that you're copying is going to be put into a root location which means you can't just be a standard user you have to be a root user um, or an administrator so I'm not going to type the password three times and you lose okay um, that's it once you get that in place then you have to do one more command on that file sudo chmar 766 Actually, is it seven six six? Here we said. Um, oh, you just have to make it, yeah, executable. So, um, by doing this, you can do a plus x or plus x, whatever. You do library x root. If you can see, I'm just copying exactly what's from the website. Okay, just run that, and it will make that file executable. Once you do that. Um, go to latex again and just follow the instructions on this website here post the new command this command just copy it and put it right there um, and that sets up tech shop so that way um, every time you run the latex command Keep in mind, if you want to run the other ones, you can, but just run the latex command. Um, text shop isn't smart enough to, I'll explain in a minute. So put it on latex, go back if you want to change the command um, to run like uh, XE latex or something like that, which is what I use all the time. You would just do, um, there's different ways you can do this if you have text wrangler you can open it by going to the location um, 
I just said um again. Go to uh, this line here, which on yours will be none most likely. Just switch it, put a single quote or double quote, probably doesn't matter in this case. Um, just put in where you want it. It's relative to the text file, so if you put .tmp, it's going to be wherever the folder, the file txc, tex is, um, and then it's going to save it in a temp folder, which is a hidden folder because of this dot in the front, relative to that location, so it will be in the same folder. Otherwise, it's going to put it in your root slash tmp folder, which, uh, to my understanding, gets empty when you reboot, so it's also a good place if you don't even want to change this. That's it for the video. Um, I will just run an example text document to show you how it works. Yeah, just, I just made this up really quick, so let's just run the latex command like I had planned. Do -do -do. Cool, it showed up correctly, and let's verify that it's. I'm going to go to my documents folder, text slash dot tmp because I have mine going to that folder. Is a directory? Oh, you have to put the cd in. Change directory. Okay. Now, if we do a list, we can see that those are the uh, these are the temporary files that get created when you generate a LaTeX document or a text document. And they are now hidden from view, because if I go to my text folder and open it, the dot just means open here with the current folder. Um, I can see that the text file is there and the PDF file, but none of the other files are there, which is what I wanted. So. That's the end of this presentation. I think that's pretty useful, and I hope that that uh, clears it up for everybody, including myself.